Hey guys, uh, does your Minecraft look like this? Then don't hesitate and watch the full video because I will show you how to actually fix this and get to this. You see the difference guys? And that's basically what I will show you how to do this in this uh, video. It doesn't really matter if you have a low end PC or anything like that. It works on every PC. So let me get right into that. So for this tutorial, we will need four different files. So please uh, go to the Windows description. There's the download link. Just click on that and take these files and drop it on the desktop just like I did. Uh, what are those files? So the first one is sodium, the second one is selenium, and the third one is fabric AP. And the last one is actually the fabric installer because we will use the fabric version in order to get the most FPS. But don't worry guys, it will be pretty easy. Just make sure you follow all of my steps and you will be fine to go. So uh, first step, we will actually need to get these mods into the mods folder. So what we have to do is to go into the window search bar, type in percent app data percent and hit enter. This will actually open up a roaming folder for us and in here go to the dot minecraft. Scroll down to mods and now take these three modes and drop it in here. You may ask uh, why do we have lithium when we have sodium? Uh, that's because when you combine these two modes it uh, gives you an extra FPS boost that, uh, and that's why I chose these two mods. Uh, now go back and scroll down to the versions. So where is it? Okay versions open it up. Now double click on fabric installer and uh, make sure you choose the latest release. For me it's the 1.20.2 and hit install. As you can see uh, the 1.20.2 has been successfully installed so let me just uh, close that and in here just make sure that you find fabric loader 1.20.2. After that you can close the folder and let's open up uh, the T-Launcher and uh, we will be uh, actually able to get the FPS boost right now. Just let me adjust the settings and stuff like that. It's not that easy. So please don't quit now. Uh, the first step for you is to actually create an account and uh, sign in with your T-Launcher account. You can do this pretty easily. Just go to configure account and uh, click on this link. In there you will be able to sign up. After that you just need to go here and to tie, uh, click on the add button. Uh, type in your username, your password and save an account. Then just make sure you choose it. Uh, it's the one with a name and the blue icon. Uh, now in the versions, uh, make sure that you find the fabric loader 120.2 or 120.3. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that uh, it's the one that you have installed with the installation process of fabric. It uh, depends when you are watching this video, okay? So let's just enter the game now. And uh, let's wait until we get to the Minecraft menu and uh, we'll get to the game and I'll show you how to adjust the settings and some uh, bonuses uh, to gain much more FPS and to get rid of those shutters. So just stay tuned and once we get to the Minecraft I'll show you everything important. So finally uh, here we are, let me extend the window. As you can see Minecraft 1.20.2 slash fabric. So go to the single player, choose your word, mine is Sherlock. You won't have Sherlock because it's a, a word made by me and uh, I haven't made it public yet but uh, choose any other different word and as you can see here I am. So just press escape on the keyboard this will get us to the game menu as you can see here go to the options video settings as you can see it looks pretty different uh, than the usual vanilla uh, ui because uh, the sodium just changed it so let me just show you the best settings now so uh, render distance let let's get it to six and the simulation distance to eight uh, the brightness uh, let's get it all the way to 100 and uh, if you want you can also enable the full screen for some pcs uh, it actually gains some more fps so you should definitely try it out and that uh, comes uh, also with uh, the v-sync because uh, 
uh, you can read it, you can read the text on the right if you want or you can hear me out and uh, my advice is to turn it off uh, because I don't have a bad PC so it's useful uh, useless for me but it might uh, may be uh, useful for you if you have a low end PC and uh, you have too many legs so you you should definitely try these two options out uh, now view bobbing let's definitely leave it on and auto save indicator yet yeah, it doesn't really do anything so let's get to quality settings in here uh, let's just change the graphics to fast let's uh, leave uh, the clouds on because i love to have the clouds it doesn't really have a big impact on performance as you can see on the right uh, weather let's get it to default and let's uh, use fast leaves uh, when it comes to the particles uh, let's use the minimal uh, because we don't actually really need it and uh, as you can see the impact on performance is medium smooth lighting uh, I'd uh, rather have it on uh, have it on I'm sorry uh, but for some people it may actually uh, shutter the game so I'm not sure uh, I will leave it on but you should turn it off okay Biome blend, let's uh, get it to 1 1 because we don't actually really need it. Entity distance, let's leave it on 100 and uh, let's turn off the entity shado shadows. Also, make sure that you turned off the vignette and the mid map levels should be on 0. Now, let's get to the performance. In here, you can see the chunk updates uh, threads. So, I would leave it on 0. Always defer chunk updates. Uh, I I suggest to. Uh, I'm not sure now. Okay, let let's turn it on. As, uh, I've read the text on the right. Okay, this should be on. Uh, this is a new option. That's why I wasn't sure. Uh, use block face killing. Uh, yes. Use fog occlusion. No. No and uh, use no error context no so this is how the performance setting should look like and in the advanced let's make uh, the cpu on the highest that means uh, you will get actually more fps so let's apply the settings now and uh, the game must be restarted apply one or more video settings okay let me restart the game okay i'm back and as you can see i don't have any lags Everything's working just fine and I believe it will work for you as well. Uh, in case you have any issues, you can just leave a comment down below. I will always help you. I'm here for you. And uh, make sure you like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Uh, this helps me a lot. And uh, with that, I know that you love the content that I'm creating for you. And I really appreciate it. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. And I hope I'll see you in the next one.